hello everyone so in this video I will do an example which is um, the other way around of the examples that we have already done so always we had the sequential circuit and then we um, drew the t transition table and then the state graph now here in this question we do have the state graph available and what we have to do is to draw the sequential circuit so we have to go backward all right so the first thing that we can do is that based on the state graph that we have we can draw the transition table all right so here we have um, the states so the states are s0 s1 and s2 and we know that we have two flip-flops so two flip-flops available in our circuit okay so this is the present state then we're going to have next state and the output okay so what you can see here is that the output depends on the input as well because we have this format here and we know that this is x over z so here we have x equal to 0 x equal to 1 and I'm going to call my output z and then the next state for x0 and x1 all right so first I'm going to write the transition table with respect to the states okay so let's look at that when we are at state s0 so when we are here when x is equal to 0 i'm going to remain at s0 because we have a loop over here and if x is equal to 1 i'm going to go to s1 and for both cases z was 0 all right when we are at state s1 and x is equal to 0 i'm going to go to state s2 which is this path over here right and then if x is equal to 1 i'm going to stay at s1 and again for both cases z is equal to 0. then when I, we are at state s2 if x is equal to 0 i'm going to go to state s0 and if x is equal to 1 i'm gonna go back to state s1 right and then for x equal to 0 z was 0 and for x equal to 1 z was equal to 1. now what i have to do because i need to draw the sequential circuit so i need to um, draw the carnot map and then find the equations of these flip-flops right so i'm going to assign my bits to these states and accordingly we have to change all of this so wherever i have s0 i'm going to have 0 0 wherever i have s1 i'm going to have 0 1 and wherever i have s2 i'm going to substitute it with 1 0 all right okay so what is each of these showing me so basically here i have q1 q0 right then for next state we're going to have q1 plus q0 plus right okay so now we know that uh, we have to actually in the question it has been stated that we have d oops, that we have d flip-flops okay so i'm gonna design my circuit using d flip-flops and in the d flip-flop i know that the next state of q is equal to d input all right so now using the table the transition table that we have we have to draw three different Carnot maps why three because i have two um, flip-flops so two of them will be for the next state of each flip-flop and then one of them will be for the output because we need to define the um, output equation as well so these two flip-flops are for my um, Actually, these two Carnot maps, sorry, are for my flip-flops. So first flip-flop is showing Q1 plus. 
and the second flip-flop is going to show Q0 flip-flop. So here I have Q1, Q0. Okay, so I'm going to fill this table using the transition table. Okay, so this is Q0 plus. So look at this table over here. So wherever Q1 is 0, Q0 is 0, and X is 0, okay, I have to look and see what is the amount for Q1 plus, which is the first digits in this table. Okay, so for 0, 0, I have Q1 plus equal to 0. For 0, 1, Q1 plus is equal to 1. For 1, 0, Q1 plus is equal to 0. And for 1, 1, I do not have any states. So that would be the don't care state. Okay, now when X is equal to 1, again, these first digits will be my Q1 plus. So look up here where I wrote the next state. I wrote that the first digit is um, Q1 plus and the second one is Q0 plus. So for when X is equal to 1, we have 0, 0, 0, and then X would be 4, 1, 1. All right, now we know that in the flip in the D flip flop, Q1 plus is equal to uh, I mean Q plus the next state is equal to the input D. So here Q1 plus is equal to D1 and Q0 plus is equal to D0. Now if I want to write them with respect to the present states and X, I have to go into the kernel map, for example here, and I can say that okay, with respect to this kernel map. Q1 plus is equal to what? It is equal to X prime Q0, right? So I know that this is equal to D1. Okay, now I will do the same thing for the second kernel map, which Q0 plus. I'm going to again look at my transition table and my second digits now will be my Q0 plus. Okay, so I'm going to fill this Carnot map according to these numbers and again on 1 1 we don't have anything so we don't care then when x is equal to 1 we're going to have 1 1 1 and x here so you can see these second digits would be what we're looking for okay now when I want to write the equation for q0 plus so I can have the equation for d0 this is equal to X. So I can say that D0 is equal to X. Okay, so the last thing that I have to define is the equation for my output, which is the Z that we have here. So again, I'm going to draw the Carnot map for Z as well. So I'm going to have X, Q1, Q0. So this kernel map here is showing Z. So I have all the Z's here in this transition table. So I'm gonna have zero, 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 and a don't care, and then zero, zero, don't care, one. Okay, so now I can say that my output Z is gonna be equal to Q1 X. All right, now I have all the equations. So I can draw my sequential circuit. So we know that we have two, let me draw it down. So we're going to have two flip-flops, flip-flop one and flip-flop zero. So in one of them, I do have um, D input D1 as my input and then the other one we do have d0 okay then um, we're gonna have a clock for these flip-flops so a clock and a clock so this is gonna be connected to each other which is my clock and then q0 and q prime 0 then Q1 and Q1 prime.
okay so nothing is connected to the primes of the outputs everything is connected to um, q0 and q1 and d okay so we know that d0 is equal to x all right so d0 should be equal to some input x all right now what is d1 d1 is equal to x prime and um, q0 so if i have an and gate over here first of all we know that it is the and of q0 and the not of x so if i have x over here i'm gonna pass it through an inverter so this is x prime which is going into this and gate and then i have q0 over here so q0 x prime would be my d1 right and then the only thing that now we have to define is my output z so output z is equal to q1 and x so output z is also consists of an and gate which is connected to q1 from this side and then we're gonna have to take x all the way up here and connect it to the input of this AND gate. All right, so here is how you can use the state graph to draw your sequential circuit. All right, so if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.